Hi everybody, I'm Seth, our Director of Operations and, and Service here at Morrison Container Handling Solutions. Today we're going to talk through the anatomy of a timing screw and how to install the timing screw. So the biggest key features on your timing screw that you have is your outside diameter, which is your largest diameter that you generally find towards the end of the screw. Then you have your root diameter, which is the lowest point in the valley of what you have. And then you have your driven and idle ends that could either be on the infeed or discharge of your system. So the biggest keys into installing a timing screw is you'll see on our driven end, which we classify as the end that always has the motor on it, we will always have our square drive assembly. This is a keyed assembly that fits into a keyway that comes off of the drive assembly itself. So you'll notice that we have a square pattern and then we have a keyway in here. The square pattern gives us four forces of contact to divide that rotational force evenly. So as we get that keyed selection in, you only have to time the screw once and then as you take it off and take, put it back on, it'll always go back on in time with the application when you took it off. On our idle end, we also have a circle driver, which again is the non-drive driven end. And it's a circle driver that is just has a couple of bearings and essentially it's there to support the end of the screw to make sure we just spin concentrically. So same thing with the circle driver. We have two different key slots and we have a pin that has two different diameters so that the, the timing screw can only go in in one fashion. And now we will show you how to put the timing screw in. Okay, so now time to insert the screw. So we're gonna start on the drive end. Again, that squared keyed connection. So you're gonna line up the square and the key slot with the pin that's on the driver. And that'll just slide into place. So next after that comes your idle end. We've got our idle bracket that's on two linear slides. So it just pulls out with a hand move. And then it also just inserts in the hand move. Those two key slots align. Your idle bracket plate comes flush with the anodized plate here. And all that's left is we close the Disteco clamp and then it just snaps into place. And your timing screw is installed. That's how you install a Morrison timing screw, a toolless changeover. If you guys have any f further questions, feel free to reach out to us on our website.